Hey folks, as you know, if you've ever seen the show before, I love events. I've been to many an event in my lifetime. I've actually been fortunate to help plan events. I've even get to work events, even to this day, but I've never worked with anybody that's in events like the guest we have today. Sit back and relax. You're going to enjoy this one. The name of the group we're chatting with is Texas Twins Events. And if your name is Texas Twins, you better be twins. Actually, we have twins. Wendy and Cindy Wortham right here on the show. Ladies. Wor Wendy Wortham and Cindy Daniel. Oh, geez, I had it written down wrong. <laughs> I, was, I, I was so focused on the Wendy and Cindy that I, I messed it up, and I apologize for messing up the last game. That's fine okay. with us. But That's you, fine with us. Thank you both for being here today. You've probably been calling each other's names your whole life. What's, yes, we have. What, what's one more gaffe? No, that, for real. So, so, so you're in the event business, all right? And I kind of gave it away there at the top of the show because I talked to a lot of event planners. I've actually made a living as an event planner before. What kind of events are y'all into? Well, um... We're actually more focused in the life event business. Mm -hmm. um, we do weddings, we do vow renewals, we do baptisms, we do memorials, um, and we d our our business shifted several years ago, and we do prison weddings in federal, state, ICE, and county jails throughout America. Prison weddings. Prison weddings. Now, how did you? Uh, I, I, okay, well, let's stick on that path for a minute because that's the interesting part. How did you skew this, skew this direction? I had someone come to me and tell me that uh, she wanted to marry someone, and then she said that it was a biracial couple. And I said, I don't understand why you're making this statement to me because, in fact, I didn't. We're mm -hmm. LBGT friendly. But then she gave us the address, and we Googled it. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, well, this is different. This is a prison. But, That's but, what we said. Yeah. But you mentioned you do life events, and what I don't I don't care where the event is. I don't care who you're marrying, what the circumstances are. A wedding is a big day for anybody. Everybody it deserves to make it as special it as possible. It absolutely is. Thus, the business was born. And so, for me, I was talking to Cindy, and I said, "What what we need to do is we need to give them everything that a traditional bride would have. Mm -hmm. If they don't have a wedding ring, we buy them one." Um, wow. We provide bridal photos. We have SUVs that are loaded with bouquets, tiaras, boutonnieres, fascinators, furs, fun signs, whatever they whatever would need. they need, and then even we, spare clothes. Even spare clothes, because sometimes people need them in order to clear the unit. Okay. And um, then we provide bridal photos at no cost to them, and we make their wedding as special as they are. And then when the inmates released. We do vow renewals. We also do baptisms for their uh, children. We've done mm -hmm. memorials for their family members. I married a military couple and they called us and we were traveling doing prison weddings. And she was very excited because she was about to have a baby. And a few months later, she called me later and said, uh, I'm going to need you to do a baptism and a memorial. And oh, I'm gonna need no. you here. And I said, why? And she said, because Delilah isn't expected to live but a few years. Mm. I mean, a few minutes. Minutes. And um, thank God um, they could do IVF. And um, we found they adopted a baby and I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be baptizing their baby. And we Good are honored you. and so happy for them because it was something that it was the hardest thing I've ever done because I knew them. I yeah. knew them so intimately. And I wanted so desperately for that baby to survive and it didn't. So for us, we have never ever advertised. Um, we're known internationally by word of mouth, but we care about our clients. Our clients are the family we weren't born with, but they are the family that we were gifted with. So mm -hmm. um, many of our clients are repeat clients and there's nothing more special really than celebrating someone getting out of prison and beginning their life after lockup. I mean, you, you want to talk about handling life events. I mean, you just went through some all ends of the spectrum right there just in about a minute. I can only imagine the lives that you've not just impacted but enhanced with what you bring to the table. But yeah, the, I, I think it's the beautiful. prison, the prison brides are the clients. Mm -hmm. And, you know, loyalty is found and people that stay with you, even when you have nothing left to give. Mm -hmm. And that's them. 
They're dedicated. They're well, dedicated. okay. Well, I, I've got to ask you. There, there's several obvious questions here, and I don't have time to ask all of them. But one I want to ask you in particular, if you don't mind, how receptive are the prisons themselves to what you're able to do? Are they? Do they work with they're you? They're very they, accommodating. That's good to know. Very they're very accommodating. I have never had an issue in a state or a federal or an ICE detention facility or a county jail. Um, the the, the advantage in Texas and Missouri is the use of the absentee affidavit. If you were, if a client came to me and said, I, I'm marrying in Oklahoma, the expense of transporting that client mm -hmm. to the clerk's office in order to be present can run up to $1,000, which is cost prohibited. Um, Texas and Missouri offer the use of an absentee affidavit, which really is a strong advantage because it saves a lot of money because but what, what does it mean exactly well it allows the person on the outside to go get a marriage license okay gotcha. without the person on the inside okay. and many of the the issues and the paperwork and the prison planning process are very complicated okay especially from state to state and facility facility uh federal facilities operate differently than state-run facilities. Mm -hmm. There are several state-run facilities within Texas that are privately held. Some yes. are state-held, but they all follow the same guidelines. And the paperwork can take two to three months. So this is something for someone who's very committed. Mm -hmm. It's um, not something that you're just gonna run off to Vegas and decide to do within a six hour window. It's something that you're absolutely committed to. Um, a lot of people have found group photo weddings of me on the internet. I do not do group photos within states like Texas. Each client has 20 minutes. I stack units. We traveled with an uh, a journalist and um, she said, how did you do four units in the same day? And I said, planning. Okay. We map it out. We map yeah. it out. There, there, there's there's no unscheduled time so that way you're able to maximize the limited time you have to do yes what you need and to you do. just you can just move from Tennessee Colony to Huntsville and then move from Huntsville to Polunsky or you know start out at Allred and move to Roach so um, knowing the prisons and knowing my timeline and mm -hmm. knowing what we have sometimes we do bridal photos before we do the wedding so we can get so you have more time. Yes, yeah, yes. I got so, it. So, so we have time to travel. Yeah, there, there, there's, there's more and that time. could be on the side of the road or anywhere. Well, <laughs> yeah. but, but but there's more time on this side than there is on this side. We got to maximize yes. this we, side. We here. have to maximize our unit time because in okay. Texas they just expanded after COVID. Like Robertson is doing Monday, Friday now. Well, those used to be flying days for us to other states, and now now you kind of had to. <laughs> yeah, now we, they we, changed we had the to shift. shift so. But you know, there's been a lot of small businesses that have done a lot of shifting yes, over the last year we, or so. We've done a lot of shifting, and um, we've really enjoyed um, this this shift. We are having so much fun with our prison clients that 90% of our bookings are at prisons. We're busier than Freddie the firefighter on the Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> you got that all out. I'm impressed with that tongue twister you were able to get out there. I busier do them all than, day long. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> busier than Freddie the firefighter on the Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. All okay. day long. Good. She's good at it. Well, you're both really good at what you do, but most importantly, you do it from the heart. You know, because yes, we do. The, the, these are life moments. You know, and we discussed them earlier. But any, can you give me a number? How many weddings you've done? Do you even know prison weddings specifically? We don't even know. Yeah, it's so many. It's, it's probably. And when you stack them, it, it's probably. Yeah, I've married six, eight, ten, twelve people in the same day in California. Thirty-eight um, thousands. And we have over 3,000 people on a waiting list within the United States. Already lining up for it. Well, it's just it's just fascinating, like I said. I mean, I've, I've spoken to plenty of people in these very chairs, in this very studio, nobody doing what you ladies do. And nobody that's more sincere about what they do. I don't care what their industry is, because your sincerity carries through in the way you present yourself, the way you share your stories, your emotions, your passion, everything. I can see why you're successful at what you do. And bless you for doing it. And, and I know everybody that uh, has experienced it firsthand would tell you the same thing. I just met you today. I'm already impressed, and I thank you for sharing your stories. We wish you continued success. Thank we you for everything you do. It. Thank you as well. You take care. The twins, thanks for being with us today. Hey, folks, thanks for being with us, too. We'll be right back with a little bit more. Thank you.